The best AV receivers will help you achieve the ultimate home theater experience. When partnered to a multi-channel speaker package, a dedicated AV receiver can get up to nine discrete channels of sound and achieve the most tangible and immersive effect from the latest surround sound formats like Dolby Atmos and DTS. It's although we've not covered all of these AV receivers as standalone reviews, they've all been tested by a home theater expert in a domestic situation with a big screen TV like one of the best 75-inch TVs, just as you would experience them in your own home. Each has been given a multi-channel workout with high uptime movies via the best streaming services or a 4K Blu-ray player, as well as being assessed for their music performance. All of the models listed here make an effective home entertainment hub. Read on to find the best AV receiver for your setup and budget. To help you find the right model, we've listed the top 5 best AV receivers 2024 and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you. Choose the best one for you, and as always you can check pricing for any of these products in the description below. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Number 5. Denon AVI-X4800H Sonic Tour de Force The X4800H is a home theater amplifier with a long-term appeal. The provision of a full board of 8K slash 4K 120Hz HDMI inputs and coverage of all the significant home cinema sound formats ensures that this Denon amp will partner any display or source you might acquire for a long time to come. The sound profile is best described as visceral, the soundstage is crisp and detailed, but there is a sense of power and precision as well. Directional panning is totally convincing. While Denon rates on board power at 9x125 GALI into 8 ohms, slash 200 GALI into 6 ohms, it sounds rather more muscular than that. This is a blockbuster amplifier designed for blockbusters, but is also darn good with music, sounding light and agile with two-channel stereo, and seamlessly immersive with 3D audio mixes. The soundstage is crisp and detailed, but there is a sense of power and precision as well. Directional panning is totally convincing. While Denon rates on board power at 9s125 GALI into 8 ohms, slashed 200 GALI into 6 ohms, it sounds rather more muscular than that. This is a blockbuster amplifier designed for blockbusters, but is also darn good with music, sounding light and agile with two-channel stereo, and seamlessly immersive with 3D audio mixes. Number 4. Denon AVI-X2700H Denon's AVI-X2700H provides an affordable jumping-on point for the brand's 2021 X-Series AV receivers. The price tag hints at budget components, but in a smaller viewing room, rather than a cavernous theater, it defies expectations. In our listening tests, it gave a punchy delivery and has no problem with action-orientated soundtracks. Plus, it's nuanced enough to portray supple ambience too. Power output is rated at 150 W for multi-channel, which is generous and it'll support a 5.12 channel configuration or conventional 7.1 surround, depending on how you've set up your loudspeakers. There's also 8K support, albeit via a single HDMI 2.1 input. In our listening tests, it gave a punchy delivery and has no problem with action-orientated soundtracks. Plus, it's nuanced enough to portray subtle ambience too. Power output is rated at 150W for multi-channel, which is generous and it'll support a 5.12 channel configuration or conventional 7.1 surround, depending on how you've set up your loudspeakers. There's also 8K support, albeit via a single HDMI 2.1 input. In our listening tests, it gave a punchy delivery and has no problem with action-orientated soundtracks. Plus, it's nuanced enough to portray subtle ambience too. Power output is rated at 150W for multi-channel, which is generous and will support a 5.12 channel configuration or conventional 7.1 surround, depending on how you've set up your loudspeakers. Number 3. Onkyo TXSNI 7100 The TXSNI 7100 is perfectly suited to movie and gaming fans alike. It has strong connectivity for hooking up ultra high res or fast frame rate sources. All six HDMI inputs offer 8K and 4K 120Hz playback support. It boasts 100W per channel amplification and can be configured for up to 7.0 on 2 or 5.0 on 4 Dolby Atmos loudspeakers. There's also DTSX compatibility, plus IMAX enhanced certification and THX post-processing. Installation is aided by a step-by-step on-screen guide. 
It's similar to what we've seen on the Denon AVI X4800H and Marantz Cinema 50 AV receivers, albeit without the polish. There are two options when it comes to room EQ, Unco's own AccuQ system, and Dirac Live Room Correction. Both deliver excellent results, but Dirac Live was our reviewer's preference. Fairtex is a feature that has fallen from favor when it comes to home theater, but it still has value when it comes to upmixing. It brought a huge improvement in staging and storytelling to sci-fi-based TV dramas as the THX processing adds scale and extra ambience to on-screen drama. The AVR also handles complex sound sequences well with satisfying placement of objects and pans from stage left to right. It can sound ominous and heavy with deep rumbles rolling across the sound field with thunderous LFE. Low frequency effects, you can almost feel. Stereo music is less effective, and there are better AV receivers with audiophile sensibilities. But when it comes to value, features, and overall performance for home theaters, the TXN and R1000 can deliver. The AVR also handles complex sound sequences well with satisfying placement of objects and pans from stage left to right. It can sound ominous and heavy with deep rumbles rolling across the sound field with thunderous LFE. Low frequency effects, you can almost feel. Stereo music is less effective, and there are better AV receivers with audiophile sensibilities. But when it comes to value, features, and overall performance for home theaters, the TXNR 1000 can deliver. Number 2. Marantz Cinema 50 The Marantz Cinema 50 is one of the most future-proof home theater amps we've seen. The connectivity on offer is truly impressive with 8K and 4K at 120Hz support, 6 HDMI inputs plus 3 outputs, an impressive auto calibration system. Format support is extensive with Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Oro 3D capable, as well as Sony's 360 Reality Audio. It's also IMAX Enhanced certified, which could come into its own when Disney Plus starts streaming IMAX audio mixes. If you're looking for an AV amp that can deliver massive dynamics, with whip crack fast transients and a fearsome bass extension, the Cinema 50 doesn't disappoint. It's a tremendously exciting listen and steers gunfire shootouts beautifully, with effortless panning, and even at high volume there's no hint of strain. It does music well too. Manance's lauded HDAM amplification circuitry is warm and melodious. In two-channel mode, we'd say the Cinema 50 is comparable to a high-quality mid-range stereo amp, and the strong format support is as future-proof as they come right now. The Marantz Cinema 50 is one of the most future-proof home theater amps we've seen. The connectivity on offer is truly impressive with 8K and 4K at 120Hz support, 6 HDMI inputs plus 3 outputs, and an impressive auto calibration system. Format support is extensive with Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Oro 3D capable, as well as Sony's 360 Reality Audio. It's also IMAX Enhanced certified, which could come into its own when Disney Plus starts streaming IMAX audio mixes. If you're looking for an AV amp that can deliver massive dynamics, with whip crack fast transients and a fearsome bass extension, the Cinema 50 doesn't disappoint. It's a tremendously exciting listen and steers gunfire shootouts beautifully, with effortless panning, and even at high volume there's no hint of strain. It does music well too. Marantz's lauded HDM amplification circuitry is warm and melodious. In two-channel mode, we'd say the Cinema 50 is comparable to a high-quality mid-range stereo amp, and with strong format support is as future-proof as they come right now. Number 1. Sony STR and 1000 The STR and 1000 is a 7.2 Che AV receiver, which is not only Dolby Atmos and DTSX enabled, but it supports native 360 reality audio and also boasts 360 spatial sound mapping. The latter is particularly interesting and effectively provides virtual speakers to fill in the gaps. It applies psychoacoustic processing to subjectively move actual speakers into more immersive virtual positions. It can be applied to stereo sources to create a surprisingly convincing multi-channel effect and overlaid on native immersive audio formats like Dolby Atmos to virtually enhance the soundstage. Sony quotes a power output of 2x 120W into 6 ohms, or roughly 85W per channel. It's not a volume monster but will suffice in a typically living room or studio apartment. It's an exciting listen with smooth sonic steerage of objects and real sense of drama. It sounds bigger than its power specification implies and handles blockbusters with authority. Just take care with the setup, Sony STR, and 1000 the STR, and 1000 is a 7.2 chair AV receiver, 
which is not only Dolby Atmos and DTSX enabled, but it supports native 360 reality audio and also boasts 360 spatial sound mapping. The latter is particularly interesting and effectively provides virtual speakers to fill in the gaps. It applies psychoacoustic processing to subjectively move actual speakers into more immersive virtual positions. It can be applied to stereo sources to create a surprisingly convincing multi-channel effect and overlaid on native immersive audio formats like Dolby Atmos to virtually enhance the soundstage. It applies psychoacoustic processing to subjectively move actual speakers into more immersive virtual positions. It can be applied to stereo sources to create a surprisingly convincing multi-channel effect and overlaid on native immersive audio formats like Dolby Atmos to virtually enhance the soundstage. Sony quotes a power output of 2x120W into 6 ohms, or roughly 85W per channel. It's not a volume monster, but will suffice in a typically living room or studio apartment. It's an exciting listen, with smooth sonic steerage of objects and real sense of drama. It sounds bigger than its power specification implies and handles blockbusters with authority. Just take care with the setup, Sony STR and 1000 the STR. And 1000 is a 7.2 Che AV receiver, which is not only Dolby Atmos and DTSX enabled, but it supports native 360 reality audio and also boasts 360 spatial sound mapping. The latter is particularly interesting and effectively provides virtual speakers to fill in the gaps. It applies psychoacoustic processing to subjectively move actual speakers into more immersive virtual positions. It can be applied to stereo sources to create a surprisingly convincing multi-channel effect and overlay on native immersive audio formats like Dolby Atmos to virtually enhance the soundstage. It applies psychoacoustic processing to subjectively move actual speakers into more immersive virtual positions. It can be applied to stereo sources to create a surprisingly convincing multi-channel effect and overlaid on native immersive audio formats like Dolby Atmos to virtually enhance the soundstage. Sony quotes a power output of 2x120W into 6 ohms, or roughly 85W per channel. It's not a volume monster but will suffice in a typically living room or studio apartment. It's an exciting listen with smooth sonic steerage of objects and real sense of drama. It sounds bigger than its power specification implies and handles blockbusters with authority. Just take care with the setup. Sony STR and 1000 the STR and 1000 is a 7.2 Che AV receiver, which is not only Dolby Atmos and DTSX enabled, but it supports native 360 reality audio and also boasts 360 spatial sound mapping. The latter is particularly interesting and effectively provides virtual speakers to fill in the gaps. It applies psychoacoustic processing to subjectively move actual speakers into more immersive virtual positions. It can be applied to stereo sources to create a surprisingly convincing multi-channel effect and overlaid on native immersive audio formats like Dolby Atmos to virtually enhance the soundstage.